A moment I'll never forget, his first win as captain. 2017, before that season, and we went zip and five, I think, to start the year. I felt a lot of pressure on myself as an individual. First time captain, not <laughs> entirely sure I was doing the job right, probably taking too much responsibility where I shouldn't have. And one thing I have learnt, the responsibility factor, you have to be able to help delegate that. Specifically, what I remember was the final siren going and just thinking, oh, that's, we needed that very much. Including the first five this year, finally. It was a, uh, a challenging day, um, the day we found out Scotty was um, finishing up as coach. He was a very big part of all of our careers up until that point, especially guys like myself and Ben Cunnington. He was there for about nine and a half years, nearly ten years to the day. I remember about 20 minutes before the game, he called us into a meeting and, and let us know that, that what was happening. Um, it was very, very emotional. And for the boys to really galvanise and get the job done against the Western Bulldogs, uh, it was incredible. I remember being in the rooms after that game. I think everyone was just about crying, to be honest, because it was so sad to just think that, you know, you coach for 10 years, you've got a really close relationship, finishing up. Um, but to also send him out the right way with a win and he had his kids in the circle and stuff, it was a really, really cool moment. It was one I'll never forget. And there's the siren, and there's Brad Scott. After everything that's happened in the last sort of 12 hours, for the boys to come out and play like that, uh, it means something. To witness, you know, Ben Cunnington's journey throughout his cha most challenging period of his life, was he diagnosed with testicular cancer and going through the emotions that comes with that, but then also the treatment he faced um, with his family, his beautiful wife, Blinda, and, and three kids by his side. And that, that was a very special moment. It's one I won't forget ever. I'm fortunate enough in these moments to be captain at the time and to be there witnessing that every step of the way. Probably one of the most proudest moments I've been running out with him. I was, remember vividly just pre-game saying congratulations and well done mate on the journey and almost breaking down in tears looking at him so it was a moment I won't ever forget he's one of my best mates playing footy we've been through a lot together in our careers and that's one memory I'll have for my life as captain of our footy club that, that will be hard to remove from my head. Join with me, congratulating the big fella. Yeah. <laughs> you know speaking of, of memories and, and comebacks there's probably another one to mention uh, is Magic Door. I think it was in 2020, going through some personal tragedies that obviously Madge faced. A bit similar to Connors in the fact he had to rebuild his body to get himself to a point to play for footy again and come back. I think he played up in uh, Gold Coast. I didn't play that game, but I remember watching the stands, he kicked that goal. I think um, it was a pretty incredible moment to be a part of as a group. And to see Madge grow as a person from all that stuff um, is awesome to see. And to see how well he's going these days is, is awesome again. His return game struck it pretty well. Get around him. It's an amazing story. It's a human triumph story. That's what it is. That is beautiful. 2021 was Dave Noble's first year. I remember uh, playing Hawthorne down in Tassie at Launceston. I think we were zipping seven or zipping eight before we won our first game. And finally getting our first win and, and Noble's first win as coach was, was a pretty incredible moment. And the drought is broken. We had a very, very young and inexperienced team who hadn't experienced a lot of winning at that time. So to put in you know, the whole pre-season of work, learn that new game plan, we didn't execute too well the first six, seven, eight weeks, but we were slowly building and improving each week to the point where we got to share that win um, for, for the first time for a lot of guys in that team was a pretty incredible moment. And, and turning around when that final siren blew, it was, it was pretty nice to see the relief and excitement and joy on the young guys' faces in sharing their first win as a group. Um, and Nobbs' as coach as well, it says the excitement on his face is, is something I won't forget. Greenwood, Zeeble. To go up against the powerhouse in Richmond, um, who were going pretty well at the time, and to play in front of a really big home crowd and to, to beat those guys uh, on a Saturday afternoon at Marvel um, was a huge win and a very emotionally charged game and victory for us as a group. Patchy took over as caretaker coach and a lot of boys when Nobes finished were quite emotional about the situation. So keeping the group together was, was the main aim. A couple of individual performances come out of that game. Obviously Cam Zerha kicked uh, six goals and was got a new nickname, the King of Marvel. Zerha! The King of Marvel! He's been a marvel this afternoon! Jai Simpkin had a monster day. Luke Davis Uniac dominated the midfield as well. So yeah, I'm just super excited to, to be able to be a part of it for the next couple of years, helping where I can, but also as five, six, seven years down the track, being a spectator watching this great club grow, um, it's going to be super exciting to see.